The people of Nineveh weren't very nice. They were violent and vicious, to be quite precise. God told Jonah, a prophet, to warn them to change. But would God forgive them? That filled Jonah with rage. He just didn't trust that God knew what was best, so he boarded a boat that would take him out west. But because he was running from what God had warned, God sent a fearsome and furious storm. The sailors were shaking and deeply afraid, and they prayed to their gods that they all would be saved. They tried what they could, all while Jonah just slept, but then woke him for fear that they soon would be wrecked. Jonah knew what he'd done, and to save them from harm, said, throw me in the sea and the storm will be calm. And the moment that Jonah was thrown in the sea, God stilled the storm, and the sailors believed. But what happened next, Jonah would not have wished. For to stop him from sinking, God sent a big fish. It swallowed him whole, right down deep to its belly. Things were desperate and dark and incredibly smelly. And finally, Jonah decided to pray. He remembered that God is the one who can save. He stayed in the fish for three days and three nights till it spat him back out, which was not a nice sight. He was grubby and gunky, but clearly not dead, and decided that this time he'd do what God said. He went and warned Nineveh, slightly postponed. In 40 more days, you'll be overthrown. And the way they responded, he'd never have guessed. They said sorry to God and were deeply distressed. They stopped doing evil and saw God could save. And so all they'd done wrong, God just freely forgave. But Jonah was fuming. This twist seemed all wrong. This is the problem I've had all along. You're a kind and compassionate God, Jenna spat. But it's wrong to forgive evil people like that. As he sat there and sulked, God grew Jonah a shelter. He was pleased at the plant which was stopping him swelter. But God made it wither and said, that's just shade. So shouldn't I care for the people I've made? Jonah hated how God forgave people like them. Although he'd been forgiven again and again, we all need forgiveness. So God sent the one who said someone far greater than Jonah has come. And when he saw a city of evil, he cried. And to bring them forgiveness, he willingly died. Jesus, like Jonah, went down to the depths to free and forgive us, to save us from death.